You're on. Welcome to our fibromyalgia workshop. I'm Dr. Brian Prax. If you haven't figured it out yet, I am a chiropractor, certified chiropractic sports practitioner, board certified in integrative medicine, diplomate from the American Academy of Integrative Medicine, and my most proud one, here's my chiropractor one, but my most proud one recently is I'm certified in functional neurology. So neuro meaning the nervous system, neurology, the study of neurology. So I'm like your neurologist, but from a natural perspective, I'm a, I'm a certified functional neurology specialist. So let's talk about fibromyalgia, the fibromyalgia recovery program. And while that decides to change, I have written a workbook that comes with the program. I just want you guys to know that this is not a chiropractic technique. We're not doing chiropractic to help reverse fibromyalgia. It is a portion of what we do, but there's so much more to it, and we'll talk about that later. The Fibromyalgia Recovery Book, you can definitely look at it. I saw some of you looking at it before. It's got everything on it from A to Z, everything explaining what is fibromyalgia, and for those, for those who start the program, they get the workbook. Page one is, where do I go, what do I do? Step one, do this, step two, do that. And together we work together to reverse fibromyalgia reverse fibromyalgia. I know you haven't heard that because people say there's nothing we can do for it, learn to live with it, this is the lot in life, just go ahead and get used to it. My job, my intention, my goals for today is to reinvent your life. And if we can reverse or begin the reversal of fibromyalgia, I think we will definitely begin to reinvent your life. ROI means return on an investment. And today you all are investing your time. The workshop is free. My goal is to get you a 10 to 1 reimbursement on that, so your time you'll feel like you got a lot more out of the workshop than what you put into it. And definitely, and we get this very frequently, with the Fibromyalgia Recovery Program, we go for a 10 to 1 investment on that too, time and money. I want you to get a huge value out of it. Something that nobody is ever talking about, though, is an exit strategy. There's a lot of pills, a lot of potions and creams and things you can get on the internet and different things to help with your pain, but nobody's actually talking about an exit strategy. And what that means is a way to reverse fibromyalgia. That's what we're talking about today. So if you decide to start the program, if I decide that I really think this program is for you, I have to say, can we help this person to achieve his or her goals? Okay. So we'll set goals in the beginning. And if they're realistic goals and you're motivated and I really think we can get an end to this thing, then we will start with the end from the beginning. I'll start with the end in mind. That's the exit strategy. I really believe, though, that in order to believe that, because I see some people are like, I don't know, I've never heard that before. In order to achieve that, you must first believe it. Can I really get fibromyalgia reversed? Is it really possible? Has anybody else really done it? So I thought it would be better to actually have, like I had in the paper, testimonials, real people who have been through the program, but I wanted you to watch this one. And it's a couple minutes long, but I think it's worth it. So let's hope that everything works just absolutely stellar, and here we go. Ear to my uh, oh my husband brought me this ad that was in a large ad in the Daily Progress. And I started reading it, um, and it, you know, it, it makes some claims. It says, um, well, you know, in a sense, it tells a story about a person who's got fibromyalgia. They go to the doctor, the doctor sends them here and yon and someplace else, and none of those work. Um, and then Dr. Brian Prax says, well, we can help you. And I'm thinking to myself, that is the most outrageous thing I've ever heard. And then I go back and I read over these conditions that they're suffering from in the beginning. Unrelenting joint pain, tender, achy spots all over your body, especially your neck and the upper back, right in between your shoulder blades, chronic fatigue, maybe constant headaches, you can't sleep at night, you're exhausted all day, you can can't even enjoy the simple things in life anyway, like playing with your children and so on. Life has become unbearable. And I thought to myself, that was me. That's my story. I had absolutely all of those symptoms when I came to Dr. Pepps two months ago, a little over two months. And now it's been so long since I felt those things, 
So that was done last week, somewhere. Last week that was done. And in addition to that, if you can write this website down, if you can write lifechangingcare.com, I have put all of my uh, testimonials, and we have so many more I need to be getting, but I put all my video and written testimonials up on lifechangingcare.com. And you can watch videos just like that and others. I don't get so far behind. About people with fibromyalgia and how they have recovered. What I want to also share is that I haven't created this program. And I wish I could take the credit for putting this whole well thought out program. But I have to say, it wasn't me. It was actually the man who authored the book regarding fibromyalgia. And his name is Dr. Johnson. So Dr. Michael L. Johnson is a board-certified chiropractic neurologist. He's the guy that put together this program, and he's the guy that put together this site and this group of doctors that I belong to and work together with. Lifechangingcare.com, you can learn about fibromyalgia, you can listen to Dr. Johnson himself about his approach towards it and what all of us doctors do. There's, three or, there's 400 doctors that are together uh, doing this program throughout the states. The advantage is, is if I'm working with somebody and run into a bump in the road or somebody's just not responding, it's something I haven't run into yet, I can actually do what we call a round table on our board. This is the great thing about the internet is I can actually put somebody's case up from x-rays to MRI, CT, blood, and the history, exactly what's happening, what's going on, how we're, how we're stuck, and I can put it up on this board and I can say, docs, help. So I want to tell you, I, w I wish I could tell you that I got it all figured out. This is quite a conundrum, this fibromyalgia. We, we've got about a 95% success rate here in this office, but there's still, there's still some that, that, do, uh, that do require extra expertise, and we have it with the program. So I thought it would be a good idea to define what is fibromyalgia. Usually in every one, I have a person who's not quite sure that he or she has fibromyalgia, and so I thought, what's a fibromyalgia workshop without defining the thing? So it is a common syndrome in which a person has long-term body-wide pain and tenderness in the joints, muscles, tendons, and other soft tissues. Fibromyalgia has also been linked to fatigue, sleep problems, headaches, depression, anxiety, and the list goes on and on, doesn't it? That's actually from the National Library of Medicine. Doctors will run testing when they try and figure out fibromyalgia, and so will chiropractors. We'll run them as well. Some of the more common tests that we'll run and that you may have had done already is x-ray. Doc, my back hurts, it's hurting here, my hips. And we'll run around and we'll do different x-rays of different body parts. Maybe if it's really bad or long standing, we'll run an MRI, we'll do a CT scan. Maybe we'll run an EMG if you're talking about pain in a leg or an arm. An NCV, we'll do blood tests. But the darn tricky thing with fibromyalgia is nothing is definitive. Geez, if you have an infection, you can just do a swab, you can look at it, there it is, I figured it out, you got strep throat. That's easy. You can run an x-ray for, for uh, an older person or somebody who has knee pain, you run an x-ray, there's the arthritis, diagnosis, de degenerative joint disease, arthritis. But there's not a test at all for fibromyalgia. So what we have to figure is we put all the pieces together, not only the history, but what's going on, what people are feeling, X-ray, MRI, we put it all together and we say, it must be a syndrome called fibromyalgia. It is a real syndrome, and that's how we figure it out. But what we want to talk about is that who has, those who have fibromyalgia, the surprise statement is that you do not just have fibromyalgia. As we talked about all of the symptoms, you have what we call a web of physiological dysfunction. Physiology meaning how things are working. So we have a web of dysfunction, meaning there are so many other factors that we have to look at. It's not just the pain here, the pain there, the fatigue. It's not just a host of symptoms. It's a web of dysfunction. If you could grab a blank sheet of paper, paper Lori is such a great note taker. Jeez, she's the ones I always used to, I always used to like her notes in school and copy ones like that. <laughs> Flip over the paper, Lori, and write exactly in the center of the paper write FM, leave some space like this because we're going to talk about what parts of the other parts of the web that we want to look at. So with fibromyalgia, 
We know that we're dealing with a pain syndrome. You have to have pain in order to be diagnosed with fibromyalgia. So on our web, the first spline right here, we're going to put neuro. Obviously, there is something going on with the nervous system. And that's why we put neurological, because there's something going on with the nervous system. So we need to evaluate the nervous system. That's where the functional neurology comes in. How are we going to evaluate it? Doctors will just say, where does it hurt? And you'll point all over the place. And that's, I guess, a way of evaluating the subjective complaint. But we need to do a thorough neurological exam. Since the nervous system is protected by, at least the central nervous system is protected by the skull and the spinal column, oftentimes connected to this, or at least another web, is that we may have structural problems. So we'll say structure. So we might have some structural problems. That's the chiropractic side of things. We're going to take a very careful look at your spine, but it doesn't just stop there because everything is connected to everything, so we also want to see, is there any scoliosis? That could be a factor. Is there any, as we mentioned before, degeneration, DJD, degenerative joint disease, or arthritis? Could be that. Gosh, it could be so many other things too. You could have, as I mentioned before, a knee problem, or a foot problem because we know the foot bone connects to the knee bone, affects the hip bone, affects the back bone. There could be even joint problems. There's so many other things that could be going on with the structure that could be a significant cause of this or one of the, one of the splines on the web of dysfunction. Obviously with the M part, myo, fi, uh, fibromy. Alga, the myo means muscle. It's definitely a muscle component. It's definitely a muscle component to that. It's right in the name. And of course, the last part of fibromyalgia, alga is pain. Okay, so we got we got the neurology, we got the structure, we got the muscle. So within the muscle, there's so many other things that could go wrong too. We could have extreme tightening of muscles. Usually tightening of muscles comes from the nerves telling them to do so. So now we're starting to build this web. The nerves can be making the muscles overfire, which is called an overfacilitation or a spasm, a contraction of the muscles. And you guys probably know what that's like. We can, you know, when you, you feel that top part of your shoulder feels like you need a massage in that area, that area right there could be overfacilitated or overfiring. It could be under firing and making a weak muscle and then what happens is we got sloppy joints and that could lead to problems as well. So we could have some muscle issues. A lot of times too we have things that get stored in tissues like muscles, like lactic acid. So that is definitely going to be a component. So all of these things right here are pretty obvious. Now you did fill out your metabolic assessment form and usually people are looking sideways like what is this form all about? Why does he care about my digestion and how my energy is and all that? And I'll tell you why. Because it's a web of physiological dysfunction. So another part of this web right here, really, really important and oftentimes connected, probably over 90% connected with my fibromyalgia cases are digestive issues. So we need to talk about digestion. If you have digestive issues, yes, it is a part of the definition, but it's also a part of the problem. It's also a part of the problem. We could talk about it from so many different ways. For example, vitamin B12 is assimilated in the stomach. If you have stomach problems like not enough stomach acid or maybe even too much, then B12 vitamin is not going to be absorbed into the body. B12, we know, is very important for neurological function. So if you have digestive problems, you're going to have neurological problems. Okay? But digestion has so many other things to do with as well, because a very important part of digestion has to do with liver function. Liver has 500 known functions, just to the liver. One of those one of the functions has to do with, we're getting sloppy here, aren't we? One of the liver functions has to do with enzymes. And how it has to do with that is the liver makes enzymes. Interestingly enough, is that the enzymes from the liver 
go into the gallbladder, it also makes bile, but these enzymes go back into the small intestine and help with digestion. If you have a sluggish liver and it's not working well, that further affects digestion. I definitely want you to write this down about the liver because the liver is the main converter of thyroid. This is important, this is really important. Thyroid, this gland right up here, the thyroid, this is what runs your metabolism, how fast things go. And part of that definition of fibromyalgia is sluggishness, chronic fatigue oftentimes associated, not sleeping very well, I never have enough energy. That could probably be related to the thyroid. Did you get that? The thyroid gland up here releases thyroid hormone, but it's inactive. It goes through the body and is converted in the liver to the active form. If the liver's not working well because we have digestive problems, it's going to affect how your thyroid is working, which affects your metabolism and how fast things work, like digestion. The point that I want you to start seeing is that everything is connected to everything. I don't have a single special chiropractic adjustment that's going to fix this. We don't have a special, I know, it'd be nice, right? Boom, you're all set. I don't, there's not a special supplement or, or a combination of supplements. And usually my fibro people come in with bags of supplements. I try this for this, and I'm going to try B12 and try this, and thyroid, try all these different things. The thing, though, is that there is a web of physiological dysfunction, and somebody's got to discover this web. Somebody's got to figure this out. Here's a huge one, and these all are very important. And I'm not saying that you have all these, and you have these, and you have all these. But if we find that you have a food sensitivity, that right there is huge. That one right there. Lori, if, if, we did, if we did the testing and we found that you have a sensitivity to some of the foods that you're eating, and we'll just throw something out there. Let's, throw, let's just throw dairy out there. I know, I'm picking on a big one right there. It's, a, it's a, an American staple. If we find out through testing that you're sensitive to dairy, that might fix 90, and I've seen 100% of the problem with that. Another one, I know you've been hearing it, what's this whole gluten-free, gluten thing and all this, and it's got to be a scam, it's the next thing. We teach a whole workshop on gluten and how it's related to the thyroid and all this, but let me just give you another story. And this lady, this is another nurse, her name is Terry. 47 years old, 30 pounds overweight, fibromyalgia, thyroid problems, pain all over the place. Long story short, we looked at her web, neurological problems, structural, muscle problems, yes, yes, yes. Gluten and dairy, that's why I picked on those two. It could be something else, it could be the nightshades, it could be, oh, I don't know, it could be coffee. Uh, we don't want to say that, but if we find it, this could be your cat's claw, okay? So, so with Terry, my suggestion for her, and she really didn't want to give up her gluten and her dairy. Mm -hmm. I said, Terry, just, you're a nurse. Let's go scientific. Try and go gluten-free. No, go gluten-free. I challenge you. I said, go gluten-free for one month. Just, just go gluten-free for a month and dairy-free and see what happens. I didn't see her for a whole month later. She came back in, looked like a completely different person. She had dropped... I think it was 23 pounds. That might have been six weeks. It could be off a little bit. But it was like 23 pounds in four to six weeks. Like that. Didn't do any dietary changes. No added exercise. Nothing different. She hadn't even received an adjustment in the office. She went gluten-free, dairy-free. And I'm not saying you all need to do that. I'm just saying this is what we found on her. I challenged her. 23 pounds down. It was two months later. The fibro symptoms were completely gone. Completely gone. Energy came back. In fact, she's quit her job here. She's going to do some other job where she's going to be a traveling nurse, going to require a lot more energy, a lot more stress involved, a lot more pay. Also, that's a person's life we were able to reinvent. And of the web, that was the biggie right there. Okay? If that's yours, would you be willing to give up gluten or dairy or coffee? Heck yeah! Elsie says, no way. I would rather keep my fibromyalgia symptoms. Well, that would be your choice. That's that part either. You're supposed okay. to figure it out. Well, see, sometimes you can't have your cake and eat it at the same time. So that was my thing with Terry. And then so after two months, she goes, I'm feeling so much better. She had some birthday cake. It was somebody's birthday, all right? So it was somebody's birthday. She just had 
a little teeny slice of cake. It was like a Mack truck hit her, a brick wall she ran into. It was amazing. Immediate constipation, diarrhea, this thing going all over. The chronic fatigue hit right away. Of course, it wasn't chronic. It was acute fatigue at that point. Energy dropped, didn't sleep. It was a slap in the face to Terry. Oh, yeah, I do have a sensitivity to that. So she, that was confirmed. She's like, all she does is stay away from that, and she's good to go. We would hope that it's something as simple as that. Usually though, it's a web of dysfunction. Where else can I go? There's another really important thing, that's blood sugar regulation. Blood sugar regulation, really important. Pretty easy to fix with lifestyle changes like food, which we do a lot of talk. I saw you guys over here looking at all the different uh, recipes and the books and everything we have, we spend a lot of time talking about food. That's, a, that's definitely the way to correct somebody. We could talk about hormones. I'm going to put it in a big category called hormones. And that goes everything from thyroid to adrenal to cortisol, male, female, reproductive hormones. All of these are connected. And I left one spot right here. I have to mention this. This could be a huge one too. Medications. Many of the medications you're on is at least a component of this. And I find that ironic because we get on gabapentin and Tylenol and all these different things. And these medications are causing neurological problems. They're also causing muscle problems. Anybody on uh, statin medications for cholesterol? That's a known cause of muscle pain. A known cause of muscle pain. Medications will affect your hormones, the blood sugar regulation. Um, digestion, I mean everything can be connected to that. But sometimes we're in a vicious loop. It's like, but I have to take my medication because I can't even function if I don't have it. So we got to work on undoing this vicious loop. So that's the web of physiological dysfunction. Probably on your page, except for maybe Lori, because she's a really neat note taker, but it's supposed to look like a mess. And the re reality is with fibromyalgia, it is a mess. And we have to undo the mess and we have to pick this thing apart. We have to run some tests and we have to figure this whole thing out. Figure out what it is for you. So, how do we approach that? Well, we do testing and one of the, one of the unique ways we test, for most people, uh, well, for everybody that comes into my program, is we start with a functional neurological exam. I've never had anybody say at this point, I've never had anybody say they've had a more thorough neurological exam. We're doing old school neurology. You gotta get out like the old neuro medical neurology books and see the pinwheel and the reflex hammer. We're doing such a thorough neurological exam, we will figure out the, neuro the neurology part of this thing. We also do a structural evaluation. So structural evaluation is everything from posture to gait to range of motion, how things are moving, etc. And then we will check the metabolic balance. And what I mean by the metabolic balance, it really is the hormones, the blood sugar regulation, checking for food sensitivity, digestion, mostly this part right here. It is a huge component, a huge component for fibromyalgia. In fact, for those of you guys who have started filling out your metabolic assessment form, you already started the process. Because what I do in, the, uh, in our initial evaluation is we look over that metabolic assessment form, looking at every single line. That's a way of guiding me into what exams, blood tests, or other tests we may need to do. Some people don't even do tests. We say, look, let's just put you right on this special eating regimen program, and that is going to clean up this, search for this, fix this. It's amazing what happens when you teach people how to eat people food. It's amazing what happens. People start to heal, just like Terry. Now that's going to be our approach. I wanted to show you testimonial two. And did I click that? Let's get that going. And it's about five minutes, and I tried to figure out where could I cut this thing, but she did such a good job. I'd like you just to watch it. Is that thing on? Ah. Okay. Us today, who is uh, just coming through the
I hope those are I hope those are helpful. They they seem help they would seem helpful helpful to me, other than some guy up there just talking about this program. That's a real obviously real live people there. That's too bad. I wonder why I keep losing my place here. Okay. So um, cost and insurance. The reason I put that up there, we're going to do cost insurance. And then I want to share with you, well, what, what do you do? What, what is this whole program? So like Peg said, imagine a case like hers. Hers actually did it in about a month. Now, that's not a typical case. Usually it's between two and six months. Usually it's between two and six months on, on a fibromyalgia reversal of that condition. We have some cases like I talked about with Terry. Really, she didn't even really get into the program. We found this one thing, and I said, I want you to try this and see how it goes, and it worked really, really well. So it's going to be tough. At the end, we always have questions. Well, what about me? How is it going to be? What about my case? I have this, I have that, I have diabetes, all that. Well, how does that factor in? I don't know until we get together individually and start to figure out your web of physiological dysfunction. 
I will talk with you individually, not at the end of this workshop. I would ask that we please, if you want to, if you want to get more specific information on you, specifically for you, then let's let's go in into the into the uh, exam room um, at a separate time, and let's go ahead and set up an appointment, and we will figure this out. Insurance does insurance cover? And the answer is yes. For some people, it covers a lot of it, and for other people, it covers none of it. If you don't have insurance. Um, then it's not going to cover it, but we do have plans for those folks as well. So insurance will cover some, but probably not all of it. Probably not all of it. So if you're the person that's thinking, well, my insurance isn't covering it, I can't do it. I'm not going to do it. It's not going to work for you. Um, because there are things that we do like oxygen therapy, critical for fibromyalgia. Oxygen therapy is really, really necessary because we often find that together with fibromyalgia, they're also shallow breathers. And an interesting thing with that, a lot of times we're shallow breathers because we hurt so much. And when you're in pain, you oftentimes do shallow breathing. Not getting enough oxygen is not going to be helpful for the neurological and the muscle system. You become uh, anoxic. You don't have enough oxygen. So we actually have people on enhanced air oxygen therapy. You have to have COPD, emphysema, cancer. You have to have something like that in order for insurance to cover oxygen. I hope you don't have that. But we use it for a different therapeutic effect. We have laser therapy that I personally have discovered it works extremely well for pain. It's sometimes like that for me. It works really well. Laser therapy um, is something that is experimental in the eyes of insurance. It's been around almost 40 years, but it's still considered experimental, so most insurances won't even cover it. There's a lot of things that they do cover, like spinal decompression for back and neck pain. They'll cover that. Some insurances cover therapeutic massage. Uh, the examination, most insurances cover that. Um, other things like your traditional chiropractic adjustment, if we find that's necessary, they'll cover for that. But they may not cover for other therapies which can help to relax and reduce strain and stress on a brain like the optokinetic tape. This is an example of something that works on the parietal lobe of the brain, also the frontal lobe and the cerebellum. What it does is it sets up a reflex on the eyes that looks like this, if you can see my eyes. Hopefully you're seeing them flicker back and forth like that. It's the optokinetic reflex, and this is the optokinetic tape. It stimulates the parietal lobe, which is where we feel the pain. So using our functional neurology, we want to do everything we can to help balance out and optimize the function of the brain. Great stuff, gets people better, helps with balance, fibromyalgia, my peripheral neuropathy. But insurance isn't paying for this sort of thing. So if we want to get a reversal of fibromyalgia, or at least move towards that direction, then we may have to do things that insurance isn't covering. So we may have to go outside. We are going to have to go outside of the insurance paradigm. They also don't pay for you going gluten-free and dairy-free, if that's what we discover. Another big portion uh, with regard to helping you to heal yourself from fibromyalgia is food. So a really, really big part of almost, yes, every fibromyalgia program is taking a look at your food. What are you eating? How are you eating it? How often are you eating it? How much are you eating it? What foods might be causing some of these problems right here? And we work to get that really cleaned up. It's amazing what we can do with just food and my metabolic repair program. Um, oh, I didn't talk about the eye lights. This is just another example of something that works extremely well um, for brain therapy. I'll go ahead and turn it on, and when I do, you'll see the lights on the left side of this eye, and at the same time, the lights on the left side of that eye flash. They'll flash for two seconds, and they'll be off for eight. Oops, yeah, there it is, okay. Left side of the left eye, left side of the right eye. The way we're neurologically wired is the, the rods and the cones inside of the retina of the eyes on the left left side of this eye and the left side of that eye, they cross over to the opposite side brain in the area of the occipital lobe, the temporal lobe, and the uh, temporal lobe, and the parietal lobe down here at the bottom one. So this is just yet another unique way, kind of like these therapies are kind of like physical therapy. If you have an atrophied muscle, then what the therapist will do is say, well, let's do exercises. And you do exercises and the body responds by growing a muscle. These are the exercises right here to grow your brain muscle. We have a brain gym which includes um, vibration. This step right here which we have taken down has things like finger to nose exercises that you'll do like this with the eyes closed. 
The dots on the wall right here, as you stand right here in front of me, you go from one to the nose, to two, to the nose. This stimulation and coordination and accuracy works very well as well to build a brain. So we have put together the brain gym. We've got a station here, we've got a station here, that we call the spin station. Works very well for balance. So you sit on the chair and you spin around. It's a great way of stimulating the brain. These are just some of the ideas, and I know when you guys got the tour, you got, you got more concept of what the brain rebuilder room is there also. So if I've piqued your curiosity and you're thinking, well, that sounds really good, I would like to try that out. I think both uh, Peg and the other, test uh, the other person who did a testimonial said, I like the fact that you could try it out. Personally, the reason I put it together like this is it makes sense to me. If I'm going to buy a car or make an investment in something, I kind of want to see it, touch it, handle it, feel it, or if it's a car, drive it around the block and know what I'm getting into. I've put together the same program to try it out. So it works like this. If you want to get started, the action step would be one, today, set an appointment. The time that you set an appointment, sometime for next week or as soon as we can get you in, we will schedule you for an hour long. You will be in the office at least an hour. Plan on an hour of a thorough, functional neurological exam. It's like a neurological exam you've never had before. It is detailed. Okay? Day one, if we need to do x-rays to rule out any sort of structural problem, then we will do specialized standing x-rays so we can get to the root of the structural issue. We will often usually do scans of the bottom of your feet because the foot bone is connected to the knee bone, the hip bone, etc. So we will take a look at your feet as well. That's all done on day one. The follow-up appointment would be day two. On day two, we do what I call the report of findings. The report of findings is when I report to you what I found. I hate that. You go to the doctor, you get some blood done, you get this, that, and the other done, and you have to call two weeks later. Whatever happened? Oh, it was normal. Why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you call me? So we don't do that. We actually, if we take x-rays, we do an exam, we actually have you come back in on day two and I say, hey, here's the x-rays. This is what I see here. Here's the foot scan. This is what I see here. This is what we found in the examination. This is the history. Bringing that all together, I think I can help you out or I don't think I can help you out. If I do, I say, I think I can help you out. Here's the program. This is what we need to do. Here's how it works. Okay. I ask you on day two, certainly on day one and three and day 45, every time, feel free to bring your significant other, but on day two I do ask you to bring your significant other. Frequently asked question, what if I don't have a significant other? Well then don't bring him or her, okay, that's the answer for that one. But if you have a significant other, and I've had people bring their, um, their adult children, I've had people bring their um, sister who was a nurse, if there's somebody else, I'd like somebody else to be there with you because it's a definitely a different way of thinking. So bring somebody with you. If you can't think of anybody, it's fine. Bring yourself. But day two, this is where you get to test drive it. We will actually do a functional neurological treatment. So we might do the eye lights. We might do the, the um, optokinetic tape. We could do the rebuilder. We might do decompression. It could be a light adjustment. Okay? It, it just depends. Of course, I'm, I'm going to want to show you what this program can do for you. Okay? So I'm going to pick something that I think you're going to be able to, to notice a difference on. Um, it's important to note that on day two, when you come back in, we are not going to make you make a decision. Okay? You're going to take the thing for a test drive. I'm going to give you a printed out version of, here's the program. This is what I recommend. This is how much it costs. This is how much your insurance is going to pay. This is how much will be out of pocket. Don't decide today. Go home. Think about it. Sleep on it. Meditate. Pray. Whatever you do. And then on day three, after having not been stressed out, then on day three, we'll do another functional neurological treatment, and it's decision day. You've taken it for a test drive. We've done everything. Does it make sense? Is this the right time for you? If so, start the program. If not, we're not going to obligate you to do the program. It's non-obligational. Okay? We're here to help people. Reinvent some lives is what, what it's all about. I want to be clear on this. Everything that I've talked about, an hour on day one, exam, x-rays, all this stuff, an hour we ask you to schedule for day two. The neurological treatments, going over the report of findings and all that, and about a half an hour to an hour on day three is normally $450. If you make the appointment today, it's $47 for all three. 
I want to make the barrier, the financial barrier, really tiny for you. So you go, oh, okay, I'll try that. $47, reserves an appointment, frequently asked question number four. Yes, you do have to schedule it for today. Reserve the time. If you don't know your schedule, make the payment to reserve it. Call us up later. We'll fit you in the schedule. So if it makes sense, 47, make an appointment. Once again, it includes all three visits. You pay one time, $47 exam, x-rays, recommendation, and two treatments. My promise to you is that I will work, if I accept your case, I will work harder than any doctor or any other set of doctors that you've ever been to. That's a big promise. But I am up at 4.30, six days a week. I'm up at 4.30 in the morning. I'm studying neurology. I'm studying fibromyalgia. I'm studying new techniques, new treatments. The other 400 doctors are out there studying this stuff too. I'm not the guy who's got everything figured out, but I have 400 and 400-ish other colleagues who are doing the same program. I got a guy in Tupelo, Mississippi, the, the preeminent board-certified chiropractic neurologist. I can get him on the phone, Dr. Barlow. Help! This is what I'm. This is what I've got going on. Here's my challenge. I get answers. Okay, that's my promise to you. I want to thank you for attending. I'm Dr. Brian Prax. If you have any other very individual questions about yourself, let's answer that on a one-to-one -one individual basis. Is that fair enough? I do want to thank you. I want to help to help you. Hope to help you reinvent your life, get you a return on your investment of at least ten to one. And remember, we want to fix this thing. We want to help your body to fix it. Let's get an exit strategy. Let's end this. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Very good. Thank you. Why don't we walk on up to the front, Elsie? You want to grab your stuff and I'll answer that question? Thank you. Good Thank job. you, Lori. Yeah. Good job. Yeah,